With the smash, there's a couple of key features that you need to remember. The first one is to get your bat up nice and high to start off with, and the swing is to come forward and through. Okay? One common mistake is to drag the ball down too much. That's okay if the ball's up a little bit higher, but off the medium height ball, it's best to start quite high and come through nice and flat and forward. The contact of the bat on the ball needs to be very flat. If you brush the ball on contact, the ball does not go as fast. So with the smash, you want a nice flat and fast contact. And the key element for the smash, for a lot of people when they're starting to learn to how to smash, is your feet. The most important thing is, as the ball's going up in the air, you need to get your feet into position straight away. Use that time the ball's in the air to move into position. A lot of players, when they start to smash, is as the ball's up in the air, they'll move their body and try and look where the ball's going and end up in a really bad position. So, as the ball's in the air, make sure you're moving into position, okay, and then you're right to smash. Okay? The feet are a really key feature of smashing. Make sure you get yourself into position right from the start. As soon as you see that ball going up in the air, get your feet moving so that you can make a good, strong smash from a good, balanced position. side onto the table so you can generate power coming forwards. In table tennis, a lot of the time we're very square on. With the smash, you've got time to turn your feet side on. So as the ball's in the air, you've got time to turn okay, and then get your power coming forwards to generate more speed, more power with your smash.